Oh, Mr. Dad, is he okay? Yeah, he's fine, mate. He's a little soldier, isn't he? What are you doing? I'm sorry. It was just an outing. I was going to drop him off at the end of the day. She needs help. Kidnapping your grandson isn't normal. No. I don't want her in with us. We don't need you. On a tube. Angel disappears through the window. I should be going the other way. I must have gone north by mistake. Friday night, a packed tube and a seat next to me has been empty the last two stops. It's official. I've become the scary bloke on late night public transport. Truthfully, Frankie, so it's all just a game to you then? Nothing deep, nothing lasting, nothing meaningful. It's funny you mention that. You know, I've been contemplating this and you know, I think I've finally come to a conclusion that you know, life is nothing without all of your bitches and money. Bitches and money. Frankie, you're an idiot. It's okay, baby, it's okay. Daddy's here. There. Yeah, that's pretty fluid. He's bleeding. Has there ever been any history of problems? Anything in the family? No? His maternal grandfather was a haemophiliac. Well, that could be it. Miranda never said anything. Something deep inside me wells up. I hope to God it's not more vomit. And I'm on my feet for the part of my brain responsible for stopping me can stop me. I'm going to die! Thanks for your help. I'll be in touch. I'll wait with you. I'll let you know how he's doing. No! I say. I'm really gonna die. Don't you guys ever get sick of this? It's Valentine's Day. You know, wouldn't you rather take out just one girl for a change? You know, have dinner with her, make her feel special. Keep it simple, but romantic. Come up with us, if you like. <laughs>